welcome back. Uh, we are, well, we're just leaving Glamberis and we've just been into V12. It's an awesome little shop. Um, loads of good gear, loads of some really good brands as well. And the guys in there are super, super nice. So if you're ever in the area, go and check out V12. Um, we've just bought, <laughs> we've just spent a little bit of money. <laughs> a little bit of money, yeah. A little bit crazy. Uh, I got some new, who are they like sort of approach shoes come scrambling shoes just because I've been wearing like some sportiva trail running shoes and sort of slowly downgrading them because I got several pairs um, as my sort of everyday shoes but they're wearing quite quickly so I got some boulder X's sportiva boulder X's um, which are which are feeling really nice actually um, and then Brett it was time for a new bouldering pad yeah it was time for a new pad so I bought uh, one of the new sexy snap pads. So, it's a yeah. Bit of a beast. It's a bit of a beast, yeah. but it should be good. So, we're now driving up Clamberes Pass and we are doing a bit of roulette on whether we're going to get a parking space or not. Yeah, he basically wants to test out his new mount. That's, that's really it. Just go to V12. If you're ever in Clamberes, that's the place. Head over there. All right. Not sponsored. Oh yeah, this is not a sponsored video <laughs> or anything like that. And we're not sponsored by Sportiva or V12. or V12 or anything like that. We just think they're like super great guys. So yeah. do check them out. Let's do some driving B-roll. Some driving B-roll. Go for Three, it. Two, one. literally just getting the pads out of the van and then the amazing British summer kicked in and it's now chucking it down with rain again. Not much rain, but everything getting soaking wet. Well it's like getting harder as well. There's some two hardcore people out there as well. I'm not sure what yeah, we saw two people going out with a pad about five minutes before us, but they haven't come back. I don't know if they're hiding in a under some rock, but everything's everything is soaking wet. And there's just like a little water spout as well. Uh. <laughs> Do you think it's shower time? <laughs> uh -oh. Isn't it? Is that the battery lane? Yeah. That's not just a little bit of rain. What do you know? I do. I have lunch. <coughs> you just look at the guy book and pretend we're climbing. Look at the guy book and pretend we're climbing. Uh huh. This one looks good. It looks like it'll be wet now though. <laughs> It finally stopped raining. We had a little bit of an issue with some sort of electric, so we thought we spent most of the most of today actually trying to fix that. Um, but it also rained at the same time, so it wasn't like we missed out on anything outside in particular. But it looks like it might have actually stopped raining. Oh, there, it's brightened up. It's a bit sunny. Coming up to help carry the map. Is it? We're not going to use your nice shiny new map. No, here. no, I, I love you, but there are limits to to your love. Yeah, <laughs> can't use my pad, new pad before me. <laughs> can't put it in the minging ground underneath our AC boulders. No, it's probably wet under there. No. It would be ideal for the brand new map, which has got like this nice sort of um, waterproof base. Yeah, but no, it needs to be a more epic venue than RAC Boulders. A more epic venue, you're saving it for Jerry's room. Uh-huh. Your virgin landing. Yeah. 
Well, it's, uh, it's a little bit crowded here. All of a sudden, like a big, I think two families have turned up. But I mean, it's good, good sort of easy ground for kids and stuff. And some easy boulder problems, and they're just climbing on the slabs. So I have to keep, keep the noise down a little bit. But I found this thing here. Give this one a crack. It doesn't get a name. I think like this bit here gets for C maybe, and then if you traverse this little lip here and then go up the arete, that gets 5B I think. Um, so give those two a little go. See what they're like, see how wet it is in the pockets. Sort of flat at the top, quite sort of sloping, but not wet actually, which is good. I was a bit worried it's going to be gopping at the top, but it's sunny now. Right, next one. Sort of work out where my feet needed to be. Uh, just sort of commit to the heel hook. So I'm still not used to pulling down on the left arm that much. But I was alright once you rocked up on it. That was good. Nice little overhang thing. Bit of heel hooking. That's kind of what I need really. I feel like so slabs at the moment aren't going to really train the shoulder. It's just going to be it's going to be good climbing. You know, you get up there and stuff. But yeah, it's not sort of improving the shoulder necessarily. So we find something else now. Yeah. Okay, 
also might give that Traverse a go. I can't remember what it's called. 6B plus, I think. But it looks nailed. Some of that stuff where it sort of is quite slotted. It just looks really hard to, to hang into. And then turning the corner on the erect because then it continues up past the corner and goes up the next sort of erect bit as well. That looks quite hard, trying to stick those, those holds that are facing the wrong way. Give it a go, see what happens. Might have to call Brett up for a spot if I get close to it. We'll see. quite cool to get that. I didn't think I was going to get that traverse when I first looked at it. I thought all those slots would be quite harsh. They were a bit harsh. A little bit of hand jamming going on there. No. Nice little uh, outing. A few ticks on the RAC boulder. There is a 7 I might come back for later when my shoulder gets fixed a bit more. Looks quite good but a little bit left shoulder heavy. Um, yeah, nice little venue. If you, you know, if you want to start taking up bouldering, I think ROC is an ideal place to come because it's really easy access, really quick. Um, some nice, gentle routes to ease you in. Slightly higher stuff if you're into that sort of thing. And then there's just a few harder problems as well when you get into all that. So yeah, definitely worth checking that out. And it's stunning scenery as well. I mean. Beautiful. Yeah, it's nice now that the sun's come out. Anyway, well, I'm going to head back to the van and maybe get some dinner on, I think.
not sure what we're doing tomorrow. I have a feeling though we might be at Jerry's roof. Uh, trying to spot Brett on that one. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Um, hit the bell icon so you get notified when we post new videos. Please do check us out on Patreon and join our Facebook group, Van Life Climbers. It is a completely open group for anybody who likes climbing, van lifing, adventuring, anybody who wants inspiration, just join the group um, and start using the hashtag Van Life Climbers. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.